The first three minutes of our mission back to the moon are the most dangerous uh, three minutes of the mission. Under an anomaly situation, when something has gone seriously wrong and we need to do an abort, the launch board system supplies escape capability for the crew for the first three minutes. When we go to the moon, on every flight, the launch board system is on top of the vehicle. So if there is an abort, we pull the crew module away and then steer it off to safety. Before we run a test like AA2 that's coming up on July 2nd, we test the individual components to save cost. What you're going to see on July 2nd, of course, is the culmination of all that testing into the full system test. During a, a launch board sequence, the first thing that happens is we get the abort signal and these nozzles here will light up. This is the abort motor nozzles. So the abort motor provides thrust to get us away from SLS. And the ACM, the attitude control motor, supplies steering control to steer us to safety away from SLS. And then after 30 seconds, then the jettison motors fire to pull the launch board system away from the crew module and the parachutes open and the crew module falls back to Earth safely. I will say, just so uh, people are aware, there aren't any parachutes on this test. The parachutes were qualified uh, about a year ago. Parachutes are expensive. You put them on a, something like this, you don't reuse them generally. You know, at least you certainly don't for, for actual flight. When we go to the moon, if nothing goes wrong, if we have no anomalies and we do not need to abort, then the jettison motors fire and we pull away and SLS and the crew module continue on their mission to the moon.